Hey, Mark, fake banter for the intro. That's all I know how to do. Great. Good to be here. Welcome to Tuesdays with... Stories. Hit her in the face with a surfboard. And then the duck fell out of his bag. <laughs> Surf's up. And she didn't even flush. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mark Norman and Joe List. Yeah! This is Tuesdays with Stories, everybody. No, nah, that's terrible. This is supposed to be cheesy. My radio is spitting at me. All right. I can't choose what All right, I we're live. This is it. Tuesdays with Stories. We got to start. Chuck was fucking two hours late. Yeah. It's horrible. What the hell happened, it's Chuck? Insane. You the me? switcher. You were an hour late before yeah, the switcher. Late. Thirty minutes. I was here thirty minutes uh, late. Oh, you oh blew Kevin God. Smith. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what's going Kevin on. Kevin Smith stinks. Oh, yeah, it stinks. God, clerks it. two, clerks three. It's all bad. Chuck, Chuck oh, was late. I wish we're, you were silent, Bob. We were scheduled for noon. We're seventy-five minutes oh. late. Oh. We're like Guns and Roses oh. over here. Yeah. What the hell? Oh, you're we Rihanna. I'm holding my tongue. I had to run back. To my car because I bought, I brought backup equipment. All right, ah, that's the truth. Well. But thirty minutes late, even before that. So that's thirty. That's the thirty. That's the thirty. That's uh, less Hold than on. half of seventy-five minutes. I'm gonna get Shelby back on the horn here. Hey, Six Shelby. pages of text. <laughs> I'll kill you. Shelby right. never late once <laughs> yeah, in his whole no. tenure, and he had a limp. Zero. Oh, Zero late. God. I got a limp dick now that Chuck's on the helm. Uh, That's all right. We're here. It's, we're queer. It's Tuesdays with stories. It's Tuesday. It's uh, the eve of my 40th birthday, ah, I just realized. You're old. Oh. You're over the hill. You're gross. 40. I got to quit the podcast. I can't be doing this in my 40s. No. Podcasting is over at 40. It's bad news. It's like wearing uh, cargo pants or a... Uh, uh, Flat brim hat. What am I going to be? 47? Would you shave your legs on Christmas if your father blew your mother in front of you? Well, 40 is the new 20 or whatever they say. 10 is the new 11. I don't know. I can't keep up. R. Kelly, but I think it'll be fine. Oh, we're fucked. And You uh, look great. You're thin. You got hair. You're should, tall. Should I do this? Should I? Like, so we're pre recording a couple weeks in advance because I got all these trips. You got trips, the whole thing. I trips. got, in reality, as, as they're listening, I got like 12 hours left in my 30s. Yeah. I got about mm -hmm. 13, 12 days left. Should I go bananas? Should I cheat on my wife? Should I fuck a guy? Should I blow Shelby? What should I do? Uh, well, blow us first. Why not? Uh. Well, do you want to do a party? Do you want to do a shindig? Or do you want to have a cupcake and watch the uh, the NBA finals? Well, I'm more of an NHL guy, but uh -huh. isn't it weird when you think about blowing somebody? It sure. seems fun. But when you really put yourself there, the personality, the guy... The balls, the Brutal. pubes. Your nose uh, is going to hit pube. The hair. Me, yeah, that's the hair. It's more the dialogue to me. The dialogue? <laughs> that's, that's, the, like, that's the good part. Like, imagine I'm blowing you. I got to be like, okay, Mark, here we go. Take those pants off. <laughs> that's the best part. The, no. It's all downhill after that. I mean, the dialogue is nice. We get to chit chat. No, I'd like to blow a guy who's like, he's got like a, a ma like one of those masquerade masks and his mouth is duct tape and he comes in, he's got okay. a club foot. <laughs> they, and got, they, they got parties for this. I mean, this is, this is doable. But should I do it before I turn 40? Nah, save it. Save it for 60. You can't start blowing guys in your 40s. Exactly. I think you save it for later. You get old. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. You don't want to blow that wad too early. But then you can't breathe good if hmm. you're like 70 blowing a guy you, because the nose, I think, becomes restricted. And well, you gotta, you gotta breathe right. Oh yeah. Open that sinus right up. Those are kind of done. Have you, you know noticed what that? I think they, they were huge. Really doing anything? Well, it was a it was a brilliant invention because it sticks to your nose and then it goes whoop, and it pulls it open. That was the idea, but I mean that was one of my first jokes. If it, if you're constipated, can you put it across your asshole? Ooh, I like it. I, I was like a kid. It, yeah. Well, here's the clinker. What, what's up with the? Uh, I, I think the eyeball that the baseball black paint. Uh -huh. I don't think that does anything either. No, that's old too. You don't see that very much anymore. Now that they do it, it's like war paint. It's like uh -huh. I'm doing the black, the eye black. But I think watch out. That's a gateway to blackface. It sure is gateway to blackface. That's the best Star Wars movie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Return of the N word. Yeah. Um, but anyways, yeah, so I, I don't know. I, my birthday, I'm going to Palm Springs. Derek and his wife and the kids are oh, coming. okay, you got a thing. So I got that, but maybe before, you know. Why don't we go to a diner, Chipotle, we'll get you a candle and sing a song. A diner might be nice, uh, you know, a cellar hang. Sure, are ice we even, cream. Yeah, we could, there's a lot of new people at the cellar, we just won't invite 
No, um, no. They could watch from afar and do one of these. Well, we got you a birthday clown, balloon animals, and a petting zoo. Big cake with your face on it? Huh? A big cake with your face on no, it? No, we can't. That's, that'll ruin my appetite. <laughs> that, that mug on, a, on, a, on an icing? A big stretch job with a pool and a bar? Yeah, um, yeah. We can put little herpes on the cake. That'd be fun. <laughs> little sores. Ouch. All Warts. right. Uh, what, what but anyways. Jimmy's. Remember Jimmy's? Jimmy, but you guys didn't say we Jimmy's, didn't say right? Jimmy's. That was very New England, I think. And we still say it, and every time I say it, there'll be like a, a, a Gen Z going like looking at me and snapping uh-huh. a photo to post on uh, you know Reddit or whatever. Sure. Oh, is that uh, offensive? I think Jimmy's might be bad now. Uh, Jimmy's yeah. is bad? Yeah, my friend's sister got yelled at for it when she was like what? 10 ordering at an ice cream store. What does it mean? It's I don't a, know exactly. It's a, it's an old uh, you know slave driving term. What? Slave driving. The slave slaves driving. weren't named Jimmy, were they? Yeah, yeah. I think they were. What? They uh, weren't eating ice cream either. Jimmy, Jimmy cracked corn, and I don't care. Think about that. I think they were more in the cotton game than the corn game. Oh, well, interesting. Corn yeah. is is the farming in the Midwest. I think Iowa. It's, I'll look it up, but I think give it a go. Yeah, look it up, but yeah, maybe it's because I guess it's sprinkles now. But I thought sprinkles were colorful. Rainbow is sprinkle. Uh, Rainbow sprinkles. Uh, right. And Jimmy's were. Bl- oh, that makes it racial then. Oh, the colorful they... ones are sprinkles. Ah, yeah. uh, well, why don't we go all the way and call the colorful ones gays? Because it's a rainbow. Hmm. We call we call them pride. Put some pride on there. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Jim Crow. Jim Crow Jimmy. Oh, Jim Crow. He's yeah. the Jimmy. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. Bad guy. Chocolate Man. sprinkles is what you're supposed to say. Chocolate, chocolate sprinkles. It's a lot of letters. So lot I never more. liked them anyways. I'm a chocolate chip guy. I want the mm-hmm. chips without. I never liked the idea of something on top of your ice cream. Interesting. Because then only some of the bites have the thing. I, it does bug me. That's why I like that fudge, that syrup, because you scoop and the syrup dips in. Then mm. you can mix. I like a black and white swirl. The unity, you know? you like, It looks racial. like a little dog poop at the, at the bottom. Sure, sure. I love eating poop. But yeah, yeah. I don't get the Jimmy's either. Excuse me, this, the chocolate sprinkles because uh that sounds worse. What? Chocolate sprinkles. Yeah, right. Sounds like they're moving in the neighborhood. This neighborhood's getting some chocolate sprinkles <laughs> I know. in there. If I get on the subway and there's a couple of chocolate sprinkles, I, I take yeah. off. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't I'm, seem good. I'm going to the uh, the sprinkle parade <laughs> next week. Uh gay pride. But yeah. What was I saying? I forgot already. I'm on fumes, folks. I landed today. You can't land on Monday. No. The syrup? Oh, syrup. Oh, the sprinkles. They don't have any flavor. I've taken a big bite of them. Ah, I pour the sprinkles in my mouth. They don't taste like anything. Ah, that's the flavor. It's all color. It's all uh, pipes. Mm. It's all pipes, Jerry. Yeah, Um, so it's a myth. When I was in high school, or I had just graduated high school, I was dating Uh, my girlfriend, worked at Dairy Queen. Wow. And I'm sure I've shared this before. But when I'm on my deathbed, rotting of cancer in four to seven years, sure, I will think about. I had it all made in the shade because she was uh, her mother was gone a lot, kind of a latchkey mm. kid. Her brother, who happens to be my best friend now, oh, really? he went to school. He went to uh, Kings Point Merchant Marine Academy. Wow! So she had like this two bedroom apartment to herself, basically. And I would go over there. And she worked the the late shift at Dairy Queen, like 6 to 10 p.m. Mm. And one time, I was just in the house. I was laying in my girlfriend's bed. It was one of those, like, it's like a princess with the things. The the the, the mosquito net? Yeah, kind of a mosquito uh, net, oh, but yeah. for girls. Sure. It's flowery. Frilly pink net bullshit. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Frilly pink net bullshit. As your title. So... I would. I laid in there, and she had the little boom box, like a little white oh, boom yeah. box with the CD, where you, yes. you press the corner and yes. it, it goes, yes. it flops open. I know it well. And then she had Jerry Seinfeld. I'm telling you for the oh, last time. Oh, the CD. The CD with the the shot from behind the the suit, yep, the blue yep. Beacon Theater, I believe. No, it wasn't the Beacon. Town it was, Hall. Um, one of the is Broad- Broadhurst. Broadhurst. I believe it's Broadhurst Theater. Can we get a Google on that? I don't know where that is. I think it's like 43rd, 44th, ah, one of those. Weird choice. It was a theater theater. Because he comes out in the opening, he says, of the Broadhurst theater, historic theater that I know nothing about. Oh, I don't remember that. Pretty sure it's the Broadhurst. Okay, what do you Broadhurst got, Broadhurst at 235 West 44th Street. There 44th. it is. Go. All right. Broadhurst. So I found the CD, and I was Broadhurst. Seinfeld obsessed. TV show Seinfeld. But at that time, I didn't have HBO, so I had yet to see the special. Oh, it was big. And I said, hey, I'll throw this CD on. I popped the CD in the boombox. 
I laid in her bed, and this is pre-phone, pre-all that shit. Yep. So I laid in the princess bed, looking at the ceiling. I had the hot girl, cheerleader girlfriend who was at work. She was yep. going to come home smelling like an ice cream. Ooh, nothing wrong with that. I had the whole place to myself. I laid there and listened to that CD, and I howled. Yeah. Howled that Halloween bit, my God. Oh, yeah, look at the pants leg. Keep it moving. I'm Superman. Look at the pant legs, the breathing, the mask, the, the wool, yes. uh, the fur on the jacket. So many great. Well, what are you supposed to be? I'm supposed to be done by now. You want to move it along with the Three Musketeers? Uh, unbelievable. What's that? The orange marshmallow shaped like a peanut? Do me a favor. You hold on to that one. <laughs> I mean, that bit... Just cut because it had the plastic yes. mask with the elastic. I'm yes. like, that was my experience. Yes. How did he do that? Boy, this is so much Americana. You're up in New England. You're in the girls' bed. You're jerking off. You got the CD player. She's a Dairy Queen. You're listening to a clean comedian. It's all, it's all pipes. It was Beautiful. amazing, amazing. I died laughing. Then she came home. Then your girlfriend's home. You got all the dope means from laughing. And we didn't even fuck because we were like teenagers. So we sure. came. I fingered her belly button and kissed her on the cheek. And oh yeah, watch over that lint. It was. Just just uh, pure bliss. It was gold. It was gorgeous. Small town America. Innocent time. Oh, it was wonderful. Now she hates me. Seinfeld is dead. And sure. uh, I'm 40. Well, what a great little memory there. Those are the nice moments in life. You got to soak them in. And uh, I'm surprised your lady wasn't a, 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 a fatty. You know, well, you work. Well, the you hell? work. At, I'm just saying, you work at Dairy Queen. I'd, I'd have my mouth under that nozzle all day, oh. and I, I would assume she'd be a bit of a porker. No, no pork. I mean, fit as as fit can be, still is fit. I believe. I mean, I stalk her on Instagram and Facebook and MySpace. Sure, and uh, Grinder. I hope you're in the top friends. <laughs> um, but uh, no, she was fit and petite and, and little petite and sweet and. Okay. And uh, it she was, was great. A, uh, a little cup, not a big cup. Yes. A cone. Mm. Well, that's a swirl. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I've been eating too much ice cream. Cone tits. I had ice cream last night. It was so pretty did exciting. I. <laughs> so did I. I had a hell of a weekend. My wife was out of town. It's college basketball oh, in March Madness at the time of recording this. You're like Kevin McAllister in there. You order a pizza, you wet the bed, you stop a robbery. I mean, I literally made Kraft Mac and Cheese the full pound box and then washed it down with chocolate chip ice cream. Woo! And you can jerk off on the couch. You got porn going. It's a, you do a little dance. I like to dance alone. I lo- oh, I'm, I'm always dancing and, and rocking out loud. And then the other thing was, Ron, I'm my upstairs neighbor. He's out in Europe riding fences. And then Steve and Caitlin, my other neighbors, they were both on the road. Uh-huh. So it was just me and the one non-comedian. Oh, nice. I saw she was walking up the sidewalk, and I was walking down the sidewalk on the other side. And I wanted to be like, we got the place to ourselves. We could get weird. Let's get kooky. But, uh, you know. I hear you. Well, hey, that's a great little weekend. Sometimes you need that. You know, you, you get the lady out of the house and you kick your feet up and you, you sleep over. Well, it, you know what it is? It's guilt-free sports because it was uh-huh. a big tennis tournament, big basketball tournament. So I watched 12 hours and I try to be a good husband where I want my sports. But after a while, you got to go, all right, I'll sacrifice these two games so we can watch sure. Bridges of Madison County or River Runs Through It or whatever. Right. 90 Day Fiance or Locked Up and... A Broadhurst. Well, I that I won't watch. Oh, it's bad. It Those makes you things. dumber. Yeah, yeah. That that shit I can't do. But I'll watch. You know, you know, gay porn with her. Yeah. Well, what's annoying is my gal watch. She watches all that horseshit TV, and sometimes she gets sucked in. It's almost like a like a what's a bad what's tractor something? beam. Well, what's bad for you? Heroin. Uh, you know, you anal see, sex. You uh, see a bunch of guys doing fentanyl. You go, hey, god, this is bad. Then after. Three days of it, you're like, all right, cut me off a piece. And now you're on fentanyl. Right. That's what these shows are like. Yeah, If you get too sucked in, like, wow, that's a midget in a wheelchair fucking a regular dude? What the hell's going on here? Right. It's like a freak show. It's a, it's a car, what do you call that? A traffic jam and a pileup. Uh, pile up. You know, there's, there's an old adage, if you spend enough time at the barbershop, you're going to get a haircut. Hey, I like that. Yes. So I'm getting a haircut now at home. I'm watching <laughs> all these horse shit shows. Uh, I'm getting cornrows in. And... She's like, I'm like, all right, we've, we've watched two hours of this. we got to move it along. Well, she's like, well, you watch dumb UFC. And I'm like, these are skilled men who uh, fight each other. There's all, their lives are on the line. There's eight million people in the crowd. It's killer stuff. It makes me crazy when people compare reality shows to sports. Yes. They're like, sports is just a reality show. But I'm like, it's unscripted. It's athletic. They're, <laughs> they're playing against each other. Yes. And by the way, it's live. 
This is the other thing that happens in relationships. We're like, I have to watch this now. Yes, it's only on now. This exactly. isn't on demand. I can't watch the fucking uh, the Sweet Sixteen on uh, on your birthday. Right. I have to watch it now. And or it's, vice versa. It's not all weirdly edited where they're like, oh, the six hundred pound sisters took a shit on the porch, and you go, but did that really happen? They did. They set that up, and it's all fake. It's all pipes. It's uh, not reality. They're like, we can get another take of this. I, I was just talking about this the other day. There was an episode of Home Improvement. <laughs> That I remember watching Wilson and the whole thing. That's dabbing. <laughs> <laughs> How do you dab again? Uh, I think that's it. Oh yeah, yeah that's it. Oh that's yeah. Two, two, two Chuck just did a high Luckily, off camera. <laughs> and then there was this one for uh, ten minutes. Oh, that's flossing. <laughs> that's not right. <laughs> it's a that's a floss. And then oh, there was boy. like the Dougie. Boomer alert. Dougie fresh. Dougie was like. <laughs> I think that's a tit shake. <laughs> no, that's Dougie. I don't know if that's Dougie. I think so. That was right. the Dougie. I don't know about the Doug, tongue, but look yeah, up the Dougie. Well, well the tongue is my own take on it. Yes. Um, wait, what was I gonna say? Shit, basketball, <laughs> sports. Fuck! Oh, it was the Dougie. Good. Uh, shit, in my mouth. Jimmy's sprinkles. Oh no! I had Jim Crow. Good. It was important. Uh, oh wait a minute. What was I talking about? Oh, the UFC, the sports, the yes, ninety day, sports, the midget in the wheelchair. On demand. Oh, home improvement. Six hundred pound load. <laughs> yes. yes, Wilson. Home improvement. Yeah. There was uh, an episode. The whole episode was it was their anniversary, but the Lions were in the playoffs or ah. the Pistons, whoever the fuck. Clat. The guys gotta watch the game. <laughs> That's the same cliche every fucking episode. And I always, I just thought I'm like, well, your wife sucks because you could just say, you know, this is my favorite thing. Right. I know it's our anniversary. This happens to be the same date that we got married on 48 years ago. Sure. But my the Lions, what all I care about, and they're playing one playoff game. Right. Which is the most unrealistic part of the whole show, <laughs> and mm. we just let me watch the game. Yeah. Then we'll celebrate after and before. We can go to dinner before the game. I never understand. Like, if your wife is like, absolutely not. Yeah. You're not watching that game. I'd just get divorced. I completely agree. I'd be like, what are you talking about? That, you're depriving me of my my favorite thing. Yeah. We just talked about this. What kind of shrew are you? Like, uh, you see these commercials where the guy's swiffering, you know, and he's like <laughs> dancing with the swiffer, and the wife comes home. She's like. Oh. He's cleaning. He's having a good time. What, what are you mad? You're mad he's having fun cleaning? Uh, don't it's, get me started on these commercials. It's very strange. <laughs> I'll, like, go, I'll go photo Paulo on you. Come on. Bring it out. Jizz in my face. Because I don't get it. Like, yeah, he twirled around and did a kick. Oh, what a piece of shit. I, what's the problem here? Every single commercial, the guy comes in, and he's just like trying to cook, and the spaghetti's like exploding on his oh, face. He's like, yeah. whoa. I and know. she's like, dumb dad. You're yes. stupid. And I'm like, he's okay. He's trying his best. <laughs> he's cooking. He's he's he's, he's uh, Nice human being. That was a great old DePaulo joke. AOL, so easy, even dad can use it. Oh, the guy that bought it? You yeah. dumb piece of shit. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That uh, was fun. You're not allowed to make that joke for some reason. Like, you know, if a woman is portrayed badly, you can comment. If a guy's portrayed badly, it's like, ah, don't, com don't comment on it. I uh, like, know, no what? comment. Very strange. I oh. can't comment. Whatever, okay. we're boomers. Boomer. <laughs> Esiason. Hey, folks, Tuesdays with Stories is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. You may not realize it, but headaches, teeth grinding, and even digestive issues can be indicators of stress. I got all of those right now. Other stress indicators include doom scrolling, sleeping too little or too much, under eating and overeating. Put simply, stress shows up in all kinds of ways. My tits get swollen when I'm stressed. Oh, yeah. I love therapy. I go to therapy. I talk to Alan. You know Alan. You wish you could have Alan. But the next best thing, maybe even better, quite frankly, is better help. Here, here. Better help rules. I got three friends into better better help through the Tuesdays with Stories podcast. They're all loving it. They're all thanking me. I'm not just saying that. That really happened. Oh yeah. I love better help. It's the best. It's a world that's telling you to do more, grind all the time. This is your reminder to take care of yourself, do less, and maybe try some therapy. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. I recommend seeing them, though. Mm -hmm. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy. Give it a try and see if online therapy can help you lower your stress. Tuesdays with Stories listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash Tuesdays. That's B E T T E R H E L P dot com slash Tuesdays. Yoo -hoo. Hey, hey, folks. Tuesdays with Stories is brought to you by Raycon. Yes, 
it's spring, baby. Time to get out there, get some fresh air, shake things up. And no matter how much you shake, Raycon's earbuds will stay right where you put them. I got a pair of these beauties. They sound great. They fit great. They're snug right in the ear hole. They come with different sizes, and it just works. I, I wear them to run, to sleep, to, to jerk it, you name it. Raycon wireless earbuds are the best way to bring audio with you because no matter how much you shake things up, you know they won't fall out of your ear. They're everyday earbuds. They got a good look, good feel, and they sound better than ever. Raycons offer eight hours of playtime and 32-hour battery life. woo And they're priced just right. You get the quality audio at half the price of the other premium audio brands. Right now, Tuesdays of Stories listeners can get 15% off their Raycon order at buyraycon.com. That's B-U-Y raycon.com slash Tuesdays to save 15% on Raycons. Buyraycon.com. Slash Tuesdays, get on it. Oh yeah. So uh I gotta tell you. Oh boy. I I hate arriving in New York on a Monday. It on ruins Monday. the whole rhythm. What'd you do? A Sunday? We did a Sunday show. Buckle up for this one, Fatty, because I'm about to throw a clinker right up your poop chute. Where were you? Cincinnati, Ohio. Aha. Uh-huh. So fly uh, it's a it's an hour and forty minute flight, not bad. Mm. Direct from Newark. Nice airport. Decent airport. Uh, although it has the tram. I hate the tram. Well. Tram Olympics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Leah Thomas. I get it. But uh, I hate the tram. I just, just let me walk everywhere. I do walk. You don't have to take the tram. No one's got a gun to your head. Well, sometimes it's like to get the baggage, you have to take it. Not here. but Tampa's like that. Tampa. 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 I, well, how big is that airport, by the way? It's you pretty got, big. You got to take a, a, a tram to get through security to get to the tram to yes, the other security to exactly. a tram to your transfer. Yeah, you get done with security, then you get on a train. I'm like, secure. once I'm done with security, I check out. I know. That's it, that's it for me. That's too much mental energy already. Now I got to get on a fucking tram to Auschwitz. Tram stamp. Yes. So I'm going to Cincinnati. Best move I ever made. I got the Delta American Express. Uh Uh-huh. Amex Delt. Somebody said, if you use this, you get in the lounge. And I go, all right. And I took the time and I ordered it. And this is all foreign for me. I don't know. I put in, I made $8 million last year. I just lied, all this shit. Mm -hmm. And they sent me the card, Toot Suite. And you got it in your pocket. (laughs) And I get there and they go, my flight's at three. I land at five. So I'm already kind of pushing it. Yeah, oh, God, I don't know how you're living this life. Well, I got, I got, I, I got to get to the airport at two. I have a whole day. I, I did laundry. I showered. I did a push up. I jerked off. I had a sprinkle. It was great. Then you get to the airport. So now the flight is delayed. Uh, so now my manager's like, you might have to go straight to the show. The show's an hour away from the airport. It's in Liberty. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Liberty. So. I'm like, fuck. Now the flight keeps getting pushed back. And I go, God damn it. Wait a minute. I got that card. Mm-hmm. I'm in the Delta Lounge. The lounge is good. Where, what airport living. are you at? Newark. That's a hell of a... I'm in that lounge. But these lounges, <laughs> unbelievable. You don't know what you're missing until you go to one of these lounges. There's Unreal. strippers, there's Coke, there's uh, spaghetti. Yeah, yeah. It's great. It, it's lunch. And I was a United Queef for a while. Ugh, what a here. shit box lounge. They had ramen noodles. <laughs> Cold cuts and, and I think uh, like a handy snack. Oh, United we stand against your lounge. You got that right. Shit lounge, trash lounge, bad lounge. So I'm in this Delta lounge, and now the flight keeps going back and back and back. Then I eventually get the thing, 7 a.m. What? So I'm like, I'm having a, a great time in the lounge. I'm eating chili. It's a buffet. There's a dessert bar. I've had 13 gin and tonics. I've had nine iced teas, four coffees, and an enema. And I'm like, this is great. Fuck it. I got my feet up. There's Enya playing and then the eucalyptus. And uh, I go, I can't make it. I'm not going back home. I'm not going back home and then coming back tomorrow. It's mm. too much. Not to mention the Uber ride was $90. Because yeah. these gas prices, they're higher than... Hunter Biden. It's it's brutal because uh, you know I'm afraid of the subway, so I'm taking Ubers everywhere. Oh. I'm like I'm in debt right now because I'm afraid of the, uh, the the kooks out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not a good. Gauntlet of kooks in this city. It's an obstacle course of psychos. <laughs> I'm jogging everywhere. I feel I've, I've never been in better shape. Yeah, right. So maybe you should get some mace. You ever thought about that? I thought about mace. Someone said uh, mace you know, window. You know, by the way, Salicuse, he 
One time we took photos of people on the street. He's, I was like, isn't this crazy? You can't just take photos of people. He's like, nah, you'll be fine. I never had a problem. By the way, here's your can of mace. I got one, too. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, well, those two, that dog don't hunt. Those right. don't jive. Not to mention he's got a buck knife in his boot that he's going to cut a kid with it. Yeah, he's, uh, yeah, he doesn't feel like a guy that could really throw down either. Nah, well, the Hawaiian shirt and the uh, <laughs> four foot eight doesn't really look tough. But sweet kid. And he's from Brooklyn, so I don't know. I wouldn't put it past him to shank a motherfucker. I guess. Yeah, he's got the mace and uh, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, <laughs> he looks like Hunter S. Thompson if he if he lost his job. If, but, he, if he didn't kill himself and, like, retired. Right. So I'm in the the, 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 the lounge there. I'm a lounge lizard, and I, I'm on the horn. Come on, we got to get there. So we got to fly it out at 1130. I land at 130. I get to the hotel at 215. The next day? No, that night. Oh. So I missed the two shows Friday. Oh. Because usually a weekend for the folks at home, it's a Thursday, one show, two Friday, two Saturday, come home Sunday. Uh-huh. Now I'm doing two Friday, two Saturday, one Sunday, which I hate, but I get it. Mm-hmm. You got to do the, You got to do your time. But I just missed the two shows. So then they had to do the whole like, hey, guys, he's not coming. If you want tickets, we'll reimburse you. You can come back on Sunday. Or you can stay here and watch the openers go really long. Oh, yikes. <laughs> I had some decent openers. I handpicked them, so it was all right. But uh, the, one of the guys, he texted me. He's like, I'm going to go out and say, fuck Mark Norman. I was like, yeah, do whatever you want. And they were like, yeah. Oh, wow. I know, which is a little hurtful, but uh, I get it. So landed at 2.30, 2.15 or whatever, got to the hotel at 2.30 in the morning and just went to bed, and it, it just fucks you. Your whole thing's off. Isn't there a party, though, that has the moment that you're like, Ah, a little bit. There's a little party that's like, all right, no work, and it's out of my control. That's the like thing. If you cancel the show, you feel the guilt. You want to kill yourself. Right. But if they, if you just can't make it, you're like, there's an acceptance there. It's like yes. a blanket of enjoyment. There is an acceptance, but no one really accepts. I still did the shows. And I did a little Q and A after, and they're like, "Where were you on Friday? Uh, Flight didn't uh, was delayed." Uh huh. What do you mean? Uh huh. I'm not flying it. I wasn't drunk uh, behind the wheel like uh, Sully. Well, you've built up a bit of a reputation for a guy that uh, you know double books and I stretches see. the truth from time to time. I so see. people might be a little skeptical that you had a corporate gig or you shot a movie or sure. you, you, know, you got laid. Sure. All right. All right. Fair enough. But. It was out of my anal, and I wanted to be there because now on Sunday I got a pile of merch this high. Because if I had two more shows, I could have sold it. So yeah, that sucks. That and then the paycheck, you you lose a couple grand missing oh, that that first night. Ouch. That's the part nobody thinks about. They're like, oh, it must be nice. You have a night off. I'm like, I take the uh, the grand over this. Yeah, grand would be nice. I end up sitting in the airport, but either way, grand is good. Sunday show, grand show is great, and then I'm like, well, I got to go do Tuesdays on Monday. I want to be back bright and early. You know, New York, if you don't, it's like surfing. If you don't get there on Sunday, you're not ready for the wave. Right. And, you know, it's like on Monday, if you get there on Monday, they just throw you in the ocean. You're like, wait, my board, uh, I'm topsy-turvy. I'm like a cork bobbing up and down. But on Sunday, you're ready. Yes, exactly. You need the day back. You need that. Well, I, we had that recently, too. We came back from Aruba. on a, We got in at, like, Sunday at, like, 11.30 p.m. Ah. So you still lose the Sunday. Yes, yes. And Monday, you're right back. Yes, exactly. So... Landed, came straight here, but the flight was at seven, so you got to get there at six. But I'm an hour out, so you you, you got to oh. leave at five, so you got to get up at four thirty. So the whole thing sucks. But we're here, we're queer, we're doing it for the folks. This is what I keep thinking about. You know, I want to move to Red Bank. Chuck has a house in Red Bank, or a cousin, or somebody, whatever bullshit. Uh huh. And I want to be near the ocean. I love the ocean. I'm yes. tired of the city. I want ocean. I want yard. I want stars. Sure. I want, you know, less hobos chasing me. Yes, yes. And so I long for it. But I've lived 15 minutes from the airport for 15 years. Oh, what a dream. I don't think I'm ready for it. Yeah. It takes me 10 minutes to get to the airport. That's huge. I'm going to be an hour and a half from LaGuardia. United is, only flies to eight places from Delta. I know. And so, uh, and then I'm even 45 minutes from Newark. Newark. I hate Newark. Newark stinks. Whitney Houston's from there. But Saints of Newark. But you will fly less if you're that far away. Subconsciously, you go, ah, it's an hour to the airport. Fuck that trip. It, right. it, it seeps in. But then what do I do down there? I'm going to have to set up gigs. I could I could set up a gig, a bar gig. You can help me, Chuck, maybe. I don't know. 
I could do Uncle Vinny's is closer. Yeah, you could do that. You could do Uncle Vinny's, yeah. Stress Factory. Sure. And uh, Live Pods at Smod Castle. Live Tuesdays. Live Tuesdays Whatever at what's that it means. called? Smod oh, yeah. Castle. Doesn't he have a film festival or something like that? Yeah, it's that coming up. Too? Oh, yeah. I got a short I was film. there all weekend. I was filming all weekend. All right. That's enough out of you. But um, <laughs> I'm teasing. Shelby. No. Oh, but, but, yeah. So uh, uh, what, I, what I wanted to say was I'm back, and guess what I'm doing tonight? I can't guess because you already told uh, me. Uh, Chuck, shit. guess. Chuck, guess what I'm doing tonight? You're never going to guess. Uh, see the new house. No, no, the mm-hmm. house fell through, the by the way. Uh, the floor fell through. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. What? Cake shop? Joe's birthday cake? Cake shop? For Joe's birthday. Oh, 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 oh. Well, that's enough. Three weeks. All but right. We got to get ready. I got free tickets. <gasps> oh, boy. To see. Oh, God. At the Madison Square Garden. Oh, boy. Sebastian Maniscalco. Hey, Interesting. Maniscalc. I am so excited to hear a review of this. I can't wait. I'm not the huge. I, I get it. I think he's a funny guy. He's a good comic. He's obviously a huge household name, yada, yada. Hmm. Not my cup exactly, but I'm pumped to go see. I think our buddy Pat House is opening. No kidding. I think so at the garden. I, it's a box. I love a box. Uh, I get a, the, the, the snacks. Cereal box. Yes. Boxing so you've got ring. a hookup. I got a hookup. We have the same agent. So he's like, you ever you want to go? I'm like, yeah. And how about this? I'm going to text Jerry. Whoa! I'm just going to go, hey, Jerry text. Hey, Dickless, you fat heeb. You going, uh, <laughs> any chance you going to old uh, Seabass tonight? Uh-huh. And he might say, oh, no, shit. I, uh, I got shit to do. But it's a good way. It's a good uh, lifeline. I'm throwing yeah. out a preserver. Wow. Mm-hmm. I think I might know that Jerry's out of town. I got my own inside info. Ooh. Still send the text. Unless it was, he might be back. What do you mm. got? Well, I got a, we have a mutual friend who's like, I'm going on a trip with Jerry. What? Yeah. The big CQ? I'd rather not say. Uh, Very <laughs> private guy. <laughs> All right. It's Kramer. Michael Richards and I have been uh, texting. Yeah. I used to write for him. We've been talking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, oh, wow. I thought it was pretty funny because I go, I'm going away with uh, Jerry. And I said, will Kramer and Elaine be there? And he said, no, those are fake characters, but good question. It was a fun little bit. Wow, now I'm of... curious as to who this could be. Well, I'll tell you off all air. All right, tell me off air. But all right, that's good. But it, it's just really a, it's a reason to poke the bear. Hey, yes, hey, poke. don't forget about me there, Dick. Yes. When's the last poke? What's going on with Jer? People want to know. No poke. I mean, he's been doing a movie, the pandemic. A movie? He's gay. He's been doing this Pop-Tart movie for six years, it feels like. Ugh. And uh, I haven't seen him at Gotham. I haven't talked to him. I'm too scared to text. When Norm died, I texted him, and that was about that was the last time. What oh, was that, wow. five years ago? That was... Uh... A few months ago, yeah, it was like less than a year ago. Definitely yeah, but less it was than a may- year. maybe in, but in coming the fall. up on a year. Oh, okay, maybe I don't know. Maybe summer. No, less than a year because I know I was doing music for the film coming soon, and we were at the studio and it was awkward because we were recording music for the movie mm-hmm. and I was with Louis and I got the news and I know he didn't know so I just like sat on it and then like. There's the moment where I can, he gets a text and I can see him see. Yeah. And he's like, oh my God. And I'm like, I know. I've been sitting on this. And he's like, you didn't say anything. And you <laughs> kiss the whole thing. Uh, Sit on my face. Isn't it weird? Like, I, I used to hate those movie scenes where, you know, a guy's mom gets hit by a bus and he's like, oh my God, I got to tell John his mom died. And he goes, your mom got hit by a bus. And the guy goes, <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, what else is going on? And you're like, no, no, I'm serious. And he's like, what? Ah! Who would do that? Who would go, oh, shut up. Like, who makes that joke randomly? Your mom got hit by a bus. <laughs> Good one, fatty. All right. But when Norm died, I was like, ah, that's fucking bullshit. So I did the thing. I hate. You did the thing. But people are like, people always say that. Like, I thought he was a joke. We were like, exactly what you're saying. But you're like, you thought I was doing a bit about your dad being uh, <laughs> paralyzed? Exactly. Yeah, randomly, out of nowhere. Just, we haven't talked in six months. I just, I break the silence by saying, exactly. you know, your dad's... I always hated that, that, that trope. And yeah, it, every trope. movie did it. But yeah, so uh, when Norm died, I was like, ah, that's he's he is a comedian. So I was like, ah, that's something going on there. He's not really dead. Oh, Norm. I know. We love you, Norm. We love you, Jerry. How about Shandling? That was like years ago. Isn't that weird? I went through my whole Instagram the other day for fun. Sent you a couple of fun videos. Yeah, um, good stuff. Uh, it was so weird because the pod, we were like plugging it. The pod was like eight months old. This Instagram know. post where we're like, check out our new podcast. Oh, it's adorable. It's so weird. It was a it was a simpler time. Yes, it was. We said crazy shit. We had no stakes. We had no mm. repercussions. Good good time. There's something very great about anonymity. Yeah. Yeah. Don't forget that, folks, all you losers out there who have no following. 
Boo! 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 Uh, there we go. <laughs> so, uh, okay. we remember Louie would say that to us and we'd get mad. I know, we'd I know. We'd get mad at him. We'd be like, shut up, you millionaire piece of shit. Yeah. He's like, if I could do anything, I'd go back to when nobody knew me. And we were mad. We'd be like, I hate him. He's in his private jet, I this know. piece of shit. And now I'd just kill. Wait, nobody knows me. Never mind. Yeah. I'm, still good. I'm well, still good to go. We want it both ways. We want yeah. all the accoutrements. You want the restaurant and the jet and the, the nice car and the money, but you don't want to be bothered. You don't want to get canceled. You don't want to get yelled at. You don't want to get uh, tweeted about mean stuff. So it's it's tough. It's yeah. a tight rope. Eventually, we will kill ourselves. <laughs> yes. You Probably can. on my 40th. Guarantee it, folks. I remember yeah. listening to Tuesdays at first, and you guys would always just be like, I got $300 for a, a yeah, backyard gig, and you yeah. used to talk about money all the time, and I was like, what the hell is this? Well, we, we had no money, yeah, so we made uh, three great. figures. It was a big deal. But yeah. we'll kill ourselves, and we'll do it on it the Patreon. Great. That's not a bad idea. Join the Patreon, by the way. Our Patreon is Rock and roll. Yes. I mean, we got so much shit on there. Tons of stuff. Oh, yeah. All in the studio, all fun, all crazy, all pipes. Mm -hmm. All right. So let me throw this one at you there, Sloppy Jalopy. Please. Okay. What's that? The half. The oh, half you're clock? doing the Shelby sign. Oh, yeah. Well, first we of all. Miss Shelby. Shelby. <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> um, Tuesdays of Stories is brought to you by Sheath Underwear. You know it. We all know it. I mean, how many times have we talked about sheath underwear on the podcast? It's our favorite thing in the whole wide world. Just like a group check of your parents, some things are just better when they're separate. Mm. And now folks over at Sheath are finally separating your dick from your balls. Very important. Here, here. I love it. I love the sleeve. I mean, we've been talking about it for years. They're so silky smooth, these underwear. And when you pull your dick out of the little pouch, it feels like a million dollars. Oh, yeah. And a million dollars feels great. I love sheath underwear. I wear them exclusively. U.S. Army soldier and Tuesday Robert Patton knew there had to be a better way to keep his dick from sticking to his leg, and sheath <laughs> was born. Yes. Comfy and cool. Sheath comes in so many different patterns. Patents. You can't have a pair ready for any occasion. You can. You can't have a pair. Oh my God, I'm bad at reading. But read this, folks. Go to sheathunderwear.com and order with promo code TUESDAYS to get 20% off your first order and sheath 100% back money guarantee. Mm -hmm. I'm dyslexic, obviously. That's sheathunderwear.com, promo code TUESDAYS. Get sheath underwear and let them support your balls. So we lost the house. Shelby? Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. The, the, the apartment. I thought, I, thought the you apartment. Were, I thought you were telling the fans that we've lost Shelby. <laughs> oh, no. Well, he's not a house. He's more of a shack, I'd say. But uh, we lost the, We had the house in Brooklyn, the fixer-upper, the money pit. Uh, it all went to hell. We, we, we were about to ink it, sign the deal, and the guy wanted more money just oh, right before. I've never inked anything. I want to ink. I'd love oh. to ink a deal. Yes. Fun. The kitchen ink. Inking seems fun. Inking uh, seems fun. Uh, ink yeah. a tribe. Yes. Inky? Uh, oh, Inky Finger. <laughs> okay. Inky Inger. I'm on fumes. But, uh, yeah, the, the guy was a real slime ball, and everybody, I got all these gays DMing me, like, fuck this guy, don't buy the house, this guy's full of shit, I run real estate, I build houses, <laughs> I screw people over, I flip, a lot of flipping. Ah. Uh, Simone Biles, but, uh, yeah, so... No That's house. it. No house. Well, you'll find another house. I know, but it, we, we liked that one, and it was so much time. You get to go mm. to the realtor. You blow him. You, you you check out the room. You pick out a bed and a, and a window frame and all this shit. Well, they say, you know, buying a house is the most stressful thing or whatever. Is they that right? Something, ah, they said something like that. I can't remember what they said, but uh, H-O-U-S-E. Yes, it's a house. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we lost the house, but how about this? On the flight, you know when you get these delayed flights, everybody's pissed. Sure. Everybody on the flight's pissed. So I had the weirdest interaction, and I'm trying. I'm going to try not to get offensive here. Oh, boy. Yeah, but here we go. Jimmy hat, Jimmy hat, tippy toe. But Jimmy hat, is that racial? Jimmy hat. What the hell's a Jimmy hat? What about Jimmy rigged? Mm, that seems that racial. That seems racial. Plus yeah. rigged is one letter off. Mm. But... Uh, we're on the flight. We land the flight. I had a weird interaction. I had a big blonde lady, older lady next to me, and she got out. You know, they go boom, and everybody stands up. Ah, yes. You know, the seatbelt sign comes off. Yes. And I'm in the window. She's in the aisle, and she stood up quick and grabbed her bag down and dropped it on the aisle. Okay. And I was like, ah, oh, good for you. And I'm doing that thing where you hover because you got the. You got ah, the, yes. the yep. overhead yep. right over you. But you want to establish that I am getting off. Yes, exactly. The establishment. So. 
She was got a wild hair up her ass, and she grabs my bag and oh, goes, nice. I got you. And I got a big, hefty bag full of butt plugs and clan hoods and whatnot. So she pulls that down. I go, thank you. This lady behind her is dragging like a five-year-old kid, kind of a ghetto lady, we'll say. And she's like, bitch, why the fuck you bringing other people's bags down? My kid has seizures. I got to get off this fucking plane. And the lady was like, oh, all what? right. Well, there's people in front of me. Like, take it easy. Seizures. And she's like, don't fucking talk to me like that. And like, she's seizures going at palace. it. And so now I'm like, well, I'm going to let her go, you know, because I'm technically next. This lady's barreling from the back because uh-huh. of the seizure thing. And she's like, I was supposed to be on the front of this plane. Fuck all y'all. They put me in the back. I was supposed to be in the front. I was like, all right, all right, easy, Rosa Parks. But so I let her go. And and the blonde lady is doing like a few of these. Like, ah, whatever, fuck you, blah, blah, blah. Like down the, what do you call that? The tarmac. Uh-huh. Yes. So I watch her, and she's like, fuck you, bitch. And she's trying oh to God. catch her. She's, she's like going to hit her. She's going to give her kid a seizure. I know, and I felt bad for the poor kid. She was yanking the arm, and eventually the, the blonde lady, you could tell she's picked up the pace a little. She's hightailing out of there. Sure. She's skedaddling. And this lady's like, fuck you. And she's like, this is why we don't like white people, because of shit like this. And I'm oh, like, boy. you're in an airport. She's screaming these obscenities with a kid in tow screaming these things, and I'm just like, oh, my God, because you don't want to get in the wave of it, because then they'll go, what are you looking at? Right. You oh, know? That's my biggest fear. So you hang back. And she did this the whole way down the, the, the corridor, and then we're, I'm in the Uber line, and I see her on the phone going, this fucking white bitch, Bob. I'm like, who are you calling? Who's just Who answers that call? If this lady called me, I'd be like, oh, I'm not answering that. <laughs> She's going to just yell at me. Oh, my God. That's terrifying. I mean, first of all, the seizure. What difference makes she has a seizure? I think she was basically saying, like, I got a, a medical issue here. Let me off first. I guess. And why is she so mad about you taking the other bag? She's just trying to be helpful. Because she's saying, hey, I'm trying to get off this plane, and you're helping other people with their fucking bags? Like, move Ooh. out of my way. Well, I don't, I don't get this lady one bit. She's got some problems. I think yeah. Bobby's got some problems. But I guess a, a kid with the seizure, they should put the wooden spoon in the mouth. You ever see that? Yeah, that's a good move. That's a fun move. They should put a little fudge on that spoon just, just to <laughs> help the guy out a little bit. You ever get the spoon fudge when your mom made brownies? She goes, here you go, lick it. Yeah, yeah, lick a bowl. <laughs> lick a, a pair of hairy balls. Um, but yeah. yeah. I just anytime I see a scene like that, I just want to take the lady and go, How about a hug? You need a hug? What, yeah, what's going yeah. on with you? Yeah, or take the kid away. I would grab that kid because yeah. I, I don't mind a seizure kid. Nah, I love a seizure. Every once in a while, you throw a wooden spoon in its mouth and you move on. Under seizure. Julius seizure. There you go. Seizure salad. Yeah, I like that. All right. Not a great salad. Shakes a lot. But. Yeah, so that just bummed me out, and it's just all that built up, uh, sitting at the airport all day, bumping into people, you're hot, you're, t- you're tired, you're thirsty, you're gay, you got a boner. I think that's the, you just recited the Statue of Liberty. Give us your hot, yes. you're tired, your boners, you're, exactly. uh, you're gay, your anals. You ever think back in, the, back in the day, so the, uh, I think the Germans, no, the English showed up in America, and then the Irish showed up, and they go, fuck these guys, Irish need not apply, these guys are a piece of shit. Then the Italians showed up, and they go, all right, we're cool with the Irish. Fuck these wops. They're greasy. They hit each other. They got wife beaters on. And then black people showed up, and they were like, I feel bad about everything. These are the bad guys. Right. And, and then we had the 9-11. 9-11. It was like these Muslims. And then we're like, hey, we love you guys. Black, white, Italian, Irish. Fuck these. And then every black guy was like, they're the new N-words. Remember that bit? Right. So I think we're just here. It takes a while to adapt. That's what it is. But weren't the Spanish here first? Uh, Santa Maria and Eva and Eva Marie Saint. And, oh, yeah. And Eva Longoria. Pinta. Maria. The Nina it? and the Pinta and the Santa yeah. Maria. There That's you right. go. Yeah. Columbus. Yeah. Wait, Columbus. But that was, no, those are my housekeepers. That was Columbus. At the hotel. Columbus was Italian, but it was a Spanish fleet. Oh, yeah. What's mm. up with that? I think they left Spain. 1492, right? Yeah. 1492. The ocean blue. Right. Yes. But Columbus was Italian, but he, I think he stopped in Spain. They left from Spain. Yeah. Mm. Right? I think so, but I think over there in Europe, Spain and Italy, they're like neighbors. They're not that weird. Ish. But I think Maybe. There's, some, there's some space in between. That's uh, like Florida and uh, Nebraska, I think. I see. So there's, there's a little. There's a chunk of a chunk of land. land in there. The Mediterranean. Got it. Well, look at the Ukraine and uh, Rush. They're pretty close. Yeah. Uh, By the way, Jimmy Jimmy rigged, not raci- okay. racist. Okay. What is it? It, it? it came from jury rigged, which was like a sailing term, G U R Y, 
And then Jimmy Hat, also not racist. It's like a Scottish thing. There we go. But I think if you say these things, you might. Yeah. If you have the epitomology set up on your phone, you have it. But I think people yeah. hear it. They go, whoa, whoa. Right. Well, yeah. rigged to got a bad rap with a couple other words with rigged. Mm. Mm. You know, Jerry rigged. Everything is nautical, by the way. You go back to every, you know, break the ice. That's when the cargo ships would show up and break mm. the ice on the water. Right. It's all nautical. Mark Twain. Huh? Mark Twain. Oh, the Twain is the the rope. Twain is uh, the stick. You know, I think six feet, two knots. Oh, yes, of the thing, and then you mark it. You mark it Twain. Oh, Shows you how high cool. the water is. Yes. Yeah, Jerry rigged. Jerry rigged became Jerry rigged, which became Jimmy rigged. How do you like that? Yeah, okay. it's all the same. Yeah. Maybe it'll be Joe rigged at some point. Yeah, Ooh, keep keep you know shortening. I mean? it. I'd like to rig. That mm. sounds like a cool guy. Oh, you know Joe rigged. Ooh, he's tough. <laughs> you, you got a fist fight? Call Joe rigged. <laughs> How about this? Speaking of uh, racial things, but this one's this is nice. This is a sweet one. Oh, we got a nice one. Okay. Well, this me. is just a connection. There's something about a connection with someone of a different gender and race. It just it means more. It's big because mm-hmm. white guys, you know, you say, "Hey, what's up, there, dude?" Yeah, see you at the meeting. Hey, what's up, dude? Hey, wait, hey, man. You're like, hey, all right, a little dope, me, a little piece, a little bit. But you get like a black woman to approve. Oh, it really just fills your soul, nothing and your spirit. Better. Mm-hmm. Nothing better. So right before the show, I was down here on the corner, uh, out in the street. Billy and the Boat Boys. Uh, we were, I went to get a uh, Starbucks. Is that Credence? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Credence. Yeah. Um, Down on the corner. Sorry. Out in the, the street. street. Mm-hmm. Willie and, and the Boat Boys, boys are playing. Bring a nickel, tap your feet. Hey, what the hell do these lawyers think we're doing in here? <laughs> Willie and the Poor Boy. You know, Credence once got introduced on a late night as Willie and the Poor oh, Boys. Pretty fun. That's fun. Um, anyway, so I went down there to get a Starbucks tea. Mm. And, uh, you know, they're, they're back behind the counter. And the lady, first of all, I ordered my uh, drink. And then this lady from behind, she had already left. She came back and she was like an arm in a sling, which I never Uh-oh. trust. Ever since Sounds of the Lambs. Right. Arm in a sling, I don't trust. Sling is bullshit. Plus there's like the assassins that have it in the cast. Ah. <laughs> That's how I feel about a guitar case. I'm like, he's got a machine gun in there. <laughs> Not bad. Every mm. time. Yep. Or so, candy. So that's a that's a pedophile with a lot of kids. Yes. <laughs> a guitar bag. Right. Full of candy. Yeah, he's just full of toddlers in there. I mean, imagine flipping that guitar open and it's just nothing but smarties. <laughs> Ooh, I mean, I would I'd let him go down on me. Sure. Although I'm not a kid. Yeah. The pubes. Does the pedophile go down mm. on the kid or vice versa or both? I think you gotta go down on the kid. The kid doesn't know what going down is. Oh, fair's fair. Well, I uh-huh. think you can say, hey, it's a lollipop. <laughs> right. Although it would be fun to hold up a kid and stand 69. I was wondering about the 69 because they're so little. You'd have to really scrunch your body. Yeah, that's why I think you got to hold him up. And he'd be so light. I don't think we're supposed to be talking no, about all this. All right, all right. <laughs> just saying. I'm not a, I'm not a condoning it, but I'm just saying. You know, I've, I had a porn when I was a kid called Porno Bizarro. Hmm. And there was a tall Amazonian lady with a little midget guy. Oh, fun. And they did all kinds of kooky stuff. Yeah. Oh, wow. I think that's pretty typical in porn now, the standing 69. Oh, Usually really? Usually it's a muscly guy holding yeah. a little petite woman. Right, yeah, right. Maybe I'll make one. Yeah. Please, send me the link. You're tall. Right. Yeah. Hmm. Well, anyway, I can get Veter. Um, yes. <laughs> well, anyways, so... Brad Williams... Coming at you. So I'm next in the uh, the queue. What are we at? The airport? Starbucks. Starbucks. Yes. So I go up to the lady, <laughs> and it's my turn. I like to really charm, you know? So I sure. say, hey, uh, you know me. I'll have the uh, grande. And then as I'm saying this, the the lady in the sling, sling blade, comes over. Uh-oh. And she goes, uh, excuse me. And her, and her lid is off, and it's filled to the brim, black hot coffee. Oh, God. And she goes, hey, I, I need some whole milk in here. I, I, where's the whole milk? Uh huh. She does this. It's like splashing and spraying oh, geez. everywhere. Oh, jeez, old handicap lady, huh? Yeah. yeah, weird cripple spilling coffee. So she's got the one-armed uh, thing and no one-armed hook or anything man. either. Nothing oh. fun. Give me a hook at least. <laughs> so she comes oh, up claw hand with her hot coffee. She goes, "I'm gonna need a, uh, a, a some whole milk here and uh, and two splendors." And and she's wedging into my territory because yeah. I have the window now. Yes, I'm next. She's got that cast in you. And so the lady says, uh, you know, okay, we'll get you some whole milk. Can we get some whole milk, sugar, some sugar and whole milk, please, sugar? Sure. For her, and she's just wedging in my space, and I want to just elbow her back, you know. Yeah, break that other arm. And so then the, I say, I'd already ordered my Grande Emperor's Clouds tea. Jesus Christ, what an order! 
Well, that's the name of it. I know. It's, it's a just, green tea, just, but that's what they order. You sound like some kind of high-maintenance uh, Kardashian. <laughs> I'll have the Grande Emperor's Dream Wet Dream Palace. But it's not my fault. That's the name of the I tea. I know. I'm Grande not blaming is the you. Size. I'd love to say, give me a medium green tea. I mean, I'd like to come in and say, small coffee and, and, yes. a, and, a, and a Herald. A Herald. Know. Oh, the paper. The Boston Herald. Ah. And I'd fold it and put it under my arms oh. and drink it and take a shit. Yes, that's the dream. Put my hard hat on or whatever, but, you know, I'm a fucking loser, and I go to Starbucks. Whatever. By the way. Why don't you kill me? 406 for a hot tea in the city. What? Manhattan. It shouldn't break four. What are these, gas prices? They're killing you. I am a shit blood. It's a bag. It's a tea bag. Yes, and water. And water. Brutal. So I, I order the thing. Anyways, long story short, actually short story long, she goes, she presses the thing and she goes, God, this POS sucks. And I go, hey, that's fun. POS. POS. And piece she goes, of shit. she's like, what do you mean? I was like, POS also stands for piece of shit. Yes. It's a POS, POS. And she's like, <laughs> a hearty laugh. Black woman. I love it. She went, ah, ha, ha, that's good, that's good. Nothing and then better. there's another black woman back here and she goes, you hear that? POS, POS. Yeah. And then the other one wasn't as entertained. She was like, <laughs> so, didn't get it from her, but I I, I went dopamine crazy. You got we one connected. Yes, I, I, every every step away from what you are, and you get a connection is more. If it's a if it's a you're oh, I'm a skinny yes. white guy with glasses. If I get a, a muscular white guy with no glasses, I'm like, hey, Not all bad. right. If I get a fat guy with a mohawk and one foot, even better. I'm like, wow, huge dopamines. But you get a heavy black woman. That's a that's like a bunch of opposites. Yeah, I like that. You get ISIS and you're in. I ISIS, mean, that's a big imagine one. ISIS is like I oh. like I hate myself very much. I know cut your head off. I mean yes. that would be like yes, <laughs> exactly. They lower the flag for you. You're like all right, nothing better. You bring in the the two things with this. One, I went to a public school, so there was a lot of uh, sprinkles, and the uh, the best thing you could get from the black lady was you stupid. When I got a you stupid, it was like that was like an applause break, high right. five, you know, kill sesh. Also, you know, it's a great unifier with you and a black guy. If a hot girl walks by of any ethnicity, could be white, Asian, you know, whatever, Malaysian, she walks by and you and the black guy go like, mm -hmm. "That's big." Nothing brings together two racial racial men there like a, a hot lady. Well, sex is the ultimate language, you know. Universal. Yes, cuz you jizz, everyone knows, you know. Right, you jizz, good website. That's I think that's a country. You jizz? You jizz. Oh, are we bombing them? I don't know. Do they have oil? It's in the Caribbean. I see. The you jizz republic. Ah, uh -huh. Jesus know. Christ. Tuesdays with Stories is brought to you by ExpressVPN. If you're a pervert like me, you probably used incognito mode. It's not as incognito as you think. And why would it be? Chances are the browser you're using has made its fortune by tracking movements online. Even in incognito mode, your online activity gets tracked and data brokers get to buy and sell your data. So how do you actually make yourself as invisible as possible online? You use ExpressVPN like I do. ExpressVPN, your connection gets re rerouted through an encrypted server, so every time you connect to ExpressVPN, you get a random IP address that makes it harder for third parties to identify you or harvest your data. Yikes, that's terrifying. Hey, it's super easy to use. Even I can do it. No matter what device you're on, phone, laptop, smart TV, all you have to do is tap one button for instant protection. So if you really want to go incognito and protect your privacy, secure yourself with a number one rated VPN. Visit expressvpn.com slash Tuesdays and get three extra months free. Holy moly. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash Tuesdays. Go to expressvpn dot com slash Tuesdays to learn more. Thank you. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Sebastian tonight, I'll give you a full report. I'm sure it'll be a humdinger. I can't wait to watch these guineas fucking hoot and holler when he comes out. They're gonna, they're gonna. It's like Elvis. Oh! They're going to be creaming themselves. I can't wait to hear. I want to hear all about it. I want to hear about the seats. And you're probably in the VIP with the burgers and the beer. That's oh, That's going to yeah. be great. You'll probably see other celebrities around there. Yes. That's going to be something. Maybe, like, who's that? Like, John Travolta, I assume, will be there. And, Does uh, he like him? Sylvester Stallone. I'm trying to think of italian -y <laughs> celebrities. Sure, sure, yeah. Stallone, uh, uh, Brando. Mario and Luigi. Yeah, who, who's Italian? <laughs> <laughs> That's all pipes. <laughs> that is pipes. <laughs> um, 
But yeah. Is. Let me see. I might have yeah, something else. Yeah, what do you got Maybe here? I got something else. I mean, I'm hitting the skids oh, here. Oh, last thing I got to say. Th- this will be quick. I've been at the airport 18 times a year because we, we travel so much. And I got to tell you, 18 times a day, I mean. Yeah, there you go. Whoever made the sticker, because I put sticker. stickers on my laptop just so I know it's mine. Because I go through the airport security, so I need uh. to know it's mine. The Hang 10 Fuck Your Mom sticker is front and center oh, on wow. that Apple computer. And every lady who's gone, shoes off, keys, wallet, oh, empty your pocket, belt, shoes, whatever... They always go, what the hell is this? <laughs> what the fuck's going on here? Or they laugh. It's kind of like a fun sociological experiment. Some people are like, hang 10, fuck your mom. What, what's wrong with you? Boy, are you crazy? And then some people are like, ah, this is awesome. Yeah, that's fun. I mean, I forgot about that sticker. Do we make that as a T-shirt or is it too offensive? I have one, but I, don't, I only wear it to, you know, to bed. <laughs> ACDC shows and shit, you know, or like an Antifa rally. I can't wear that anywhere. Yeah, that was good fun. Thanks for whoever made that. And, and hit, hit the merch thing. Look at these yes. mugs. Mug Costanza. Oh, Look at come this. on. Mug Where are shot. the cameras? We're gay. Give it a goog. Here's the clinker. Call in. I mean, this is a hell of a mug. That's a good look. It's, a, it's sturdy. It's hefty. I, I want to pour some piss into that thing. It's a four-finger <laughs> mug. You so rarely find a four-finger. Love a four-finger in my ass. What's the most fingers you've ever had in a lady's vagina? Three. Really? <clears throat> yeah. Like a triangle, right? One time I was fingering a girl, and this is in a hotel in Jersey, and Ooh. she was like, this is it's like years a Springsteen ago. song. I know, it was years ago, and uh, I'm getting out of this pussy, but uh, I was fingering her with two, and she was like going nuts, ah! and I went, you know what, let me just see what happens, and I put the third one in, so uh-huh. now I got some girth, and she came. Wow. So I'm like, well, wow, wow. Bigger is better. You're a three-finger mark. That's me. She's a bowling ball. One time I put my thumb in an asshole of a woman, nor man, hard to tell. Sure. And uh, I had like a hangnail thing, and it, was, it wasn't pretty. Oh. I think it was, a, it was a scraper. It stings sometimes. You get that vagina juice, and you are like, ooh, boy, that is spicy. Yeah, well, I got poo juice, and she was upset, ooh. I was upset, and I was sticking out like a sore thumb. And sure, it was. It was, like, it was in her. It was like that. <laughs> oh, the you pulsating know. anal. <laughs> <laughs> um, good punk band, but yeah, yeah, the uh, the hangnail will really catch a uh, an orifice. Just reminded me of an old Don Gavin bit. Oh, I love the Gavin. Don Gavin, he goes, yeah, you know, you had the the hotel. They had the um, what do you call it? Hospital corners where they tuck the sheets and blankets in. Hospital corner. I think that's what it's called. Oh, okay, that's what it's called, right? Hospital corners when you tuck the sheet and blanket in. Okay. Because he says that's why they call it a hospital, because you go to the hospital, because he's trying to kick the sheets out, and he sprained his toe. <laughs> and he goes, you know, that, you know, a lot of people will lie when they have an injury to make it sound like they're more excited. Sure. Not me. You know, I I sprained it skydiving with pirates. <laughs> uh, <laughs> pirates. Skydiving with pirates. Oh, what a sentence. Woo. Easy on the wall. I know. I just I felt it. It was almost like the Walk This Way video. Yeah, yeah. That's a hell What'd of a reference. What you find? Reference. Hospital corners? Hospital corners. You got it. Whoa. Yeah. There you go. He goes, I'm afraid I'm going to drool. I'll seal myself in. <laughs> Don Gavin live with a Manhattan. Check so, it out. So funny, man. That guy is so funny. But those those sheets, I hate the tuck. You gotta oh, kick. Uh, You're kicking like crazy just to get out of there. One tuck, one no tuck. <laughs> uh, but I watched some comedy this week. I went down to the comedy cellar. I was home all weekend watching basketball. I go to the cellar. I watch Ben Bailey. It just brings me so much joy. He's got yeah. some great bits. Ethan uh, Simmons Patterson, funny guy, get a load of him? funny cat. He's no social media, but he's hilarious. Yeah. Well, what's it like on the week? I'm gone every weekend. I'm trying to buy a home and raise a family and eat out my wife. So what's a what's a weekend at the cellar like these days? Because it used to be my whole life. Well, I'm not there too much myself, but uh, it was pretty fun. I put in for the early spots. I think she doesn't like you putting in for early, so she gives me the fat black bar. Uh. So not as great. But uh, I went down. I had a 7:30 at fat black. Lounge and a nine thirty at Fat Black Bar. Okay. So in between, I went downstairs to the VU because I don't want to leave because I'm afraid of the streets. Sure. So I go downstairs to the VU. I order some wings and fries. Mike Yard orders the same thing. Hey. Another bonding experience. So we're down there eating wings and fries. I watch Ben Bailey. I watch uh, Ethan Simmons Patterson. I watched uh, some Mike Yard and just had a great time. You forget how much fun it is it's to a show. watch comedy and eat wings. It's the best. You just kick back and you're like, oh, that's why people show up to this. Exactly. And it was just bringing me joy and it, it reminded me that we're part of something. You're in the basement, the low ceiling, yes. the brick, the nightclub, it's packed, and everyone's just exuding joy. And you're, you forget because 
It's not that long ago COVID was happening. No, nobody can go anywhere. We're back out. We have to really be fresh and remember how great it is. Grateful for the for the human connection, the show, the laughing together. It's a beautiful thing. No mass. Everybody's you know elbowing each other. Sling blade, sling state. It's a great thing. Concerts, comedy, and comedy's hot right now. I know. It's so, it's so fun watching one person after the other. You get the enjoyment of a show of, like, let's see what this guy has to I say. I know. I know. And uh, I'm excited. But tonight, we're, we're filming a thing tonight. I'm at the Grove 34. I got Matt Wayne coming and Andrew Chavone, of course. And uh, finally get to meet the Chavone kid at the live app. That's going to be something. The live app, if, if you're listening, is probably out on the Patreon right now. But uh, it's the eve of the live app, and Ooh. I am excited. I'm, I'm bubbling, Jerry. I'm excited. I'm, I'm effervescent. We haven't done a live since, what, Moon Tower or something? Wow. It's been years. It's been years. I can't wait. And the Siobhan kid, if you're listening there, uh, Chivy, you better bring the heat, because you've been put up on a pedestal. He's a funny guy. We had a cigar in my backyard oh, the other day. Oh, no cigar, cigar. I'm talking bring the heat. I need some funny, because oh, you got a lot to live up to. Big you know what, shoes. You know what I did this week? I'm a man. I bought a box of cigars. It comes to your door. You, you, you have to like slice it open. You open it. You have a whole box. I feel wow. like a cowboy. I'm a cowboy. Yes, that's a good time. You're like a Rockefeller over there. You got to come over, hang in my backyard, and have a cigar. That's a great night. I love the idea. Here you go. That cedar box. I get to go, hmm, which one? Which one? They're all the same, but I pick one. It's, you bite the end off, and you put it right up your ass. It's pretty fun. I got a cutter. You don't have to bite. Come all over. Right. You, me, Siobhan, Big Dick uh, Rogers. We'll have a whole gang. I was hoping to be just us. Uh, I'm not comfortable with that. Damn it. Siobhan. Uh, intruding in my life. You got you to gotta love Siobhan. Wow. He's really funny. He goes, no. <laughs> all right. His head well, bubbles. And he's got, some, he's got some stuff. And Karen Fian's coming on. Oh, She's going to be something. Love the fee. That is a heck of a... Uh, you don't think we need another situation. guy? No, it's going to be good. This us two. We got to be able to talk. Sure. And then uh, Fian is hilarious, and Siobhan will be there. It's going to be something. What if we get old Simons in open? Hmm. You I know, think he's, he's in Europe with uh, Louis. Oh, he is? Yeah, he's oh, at good war. For him. Well, well yeah, it'd be nice to give a kid five up top. I think that, that gets the room quiet. They're getting their chicken wings. They're, they, you know, they're, they're getting their phones off. With Siobhan? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what time is it? I, I think we're like we're three days into this thing. 56. Oh. You know what it is? It's, it feels late because we were supposed to start 75 minutes earlier. Shelby. Chuck fucked us. Yep. I wonder if Shelby will listen still. I don't uh, think so. Probably not. I highly doubt it. Well, let's just, uh, can we sign off? Can we give Shelby a big sign yeah, off? Yeah, that's a good idea. Shelby, our, our number one man, our best producer we've ever had by far. Never late once. No, no. Edit stuff. <laughs> set up the whole studio. Doesn't have 14 threesomes in a week. Uh, thin. Never once, uh, you know. Doesn't know Kevin Smith. I <laughs> mentioned celebrity directors. Yep, yep. Shelby has moved on to greener pastures. Well, Mr. Shelbo, it's no hard feelings. He's just uh, got other opportunities and whatnot. But uh, eight years, baby. Eight years. And uh, Shelby called us and just hit it with it. Hit us with it. I know. It was like, um, it was like Dumb and Dumber. I came all this way. I know. Our pet's heads are falling off. <laughs> it's uh, pretty wild. Yeah. I, I can't believe he's gone. It's all hitting me now. So we'll miss him. I mean, Shelby was there in the early, early days at uh, Stand Up Labs. Yes, yes, and, exactly. Uh, we've been sending him the clips when we were at the uh, Lunch Stuff studios. He came there one time, I think. Oh, yeah. Then there was Lunch Stuff 2. Then he found us this place. Chuck's just fuming right now. Yeah. People are coming after me. It has nothing to do with me. It has nothing to do with me. No comments. Chuck planted the seed. It was all his idea, but uh, he's very diabolical. But hey, thanks for the wallpaper, Shelbu, and uh, hopefully we'll and see you on the other side. And the mugs, Designed and the merch. these mugs. Chuck hasn't designed shit. No. What about the NBC logo? Oh, oh yeah, that, that was wasn't really good. Bad. That was very good. Where is that? I think I threw those out. But yeah, yeah, no, Chuck's got some good stuff, but you got to kick it up a notch now. You got no uh, nobody doing the heavy lifting. It's all on your shoulders now there, Chachi. Chuck is furious. <laughs> We're joking with you there, Sloppy Jalopy. But yeah, Shelby, eight years. We had some good times. Thanks send, for the lips. Send Shelby a, uh, a thank you, a congrats. Yes. So we love you because, I mean, this was a three-man operation for a long time. We oh, brought in yeah. Fanny. We got Chuck. And uh, 
Yeah. Praise Allah. I'd love to see some positive Shelby comments and no yes. negative comments about anybody else. That's there what we're looking you go. for. Don't well, attack the Chuckster. We'll miss you, Shelby. And uh, yeah. Yeah. End of an era. I mean, he said, can we do a five minute phone call? I did not expect him to uh, commit suicide on air, but <laughs> to each his anal. Yeah, it was fun. Good, good, good stuff. Where are you going to be there, sister? Well, this weekend, uh, or next weekend, uh, if I survive my 40th. Oh, that was a spitter. It sounded like a camel. Oh, oh <laughs> Jesus. You got llama shock. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Woo, uh, alpaca. Next, week, <laughs> next weekend, <laughs> Green Bay. Next weekend, I'll be in Boston, the big weekend. Finally, I've been plugging the same four dates for a year and a half. Well, hey, you got to plug. Uh, April... Uh, 14th through the 16th, I will be at Laugh Boston. That's a big one. It's going to be fun. I got uh, Sarah's coming with me. I think Mike Whitman will come by. Bulger probably. Oh, yeah. Be a good crew. I can smell your fart. Sorry. Uh, weekend after that, April 21st through the 23rd, Matt Wayne and I will be at Buffalo Helium. We're going to go to the Sabres game, too, which is Hell exciting. Hell, yeah. Got a Sabre every moment. And then... Uh, uh, what was that thing? Uh, Raleigh, good nights. Uh-huh. Uh, and then I'm doing Greenville the night before that. That's in May. Mm. That is May 12th through the 14th. One night are in Greenville, May 11th. May 5th through the 7th, Austin, Ooh. Cap City. And then June, it's got I got Vancouver coming up. I got San Francisco. Toronto's getting made up July 29th. Toronto, there we go. Uh, Nashville in August. Um, a whole bunch of other shit. Um, yeah, it's going to be great. So go to, uh, oh, and then the special, April 29th. Yes, what am I doing? I'm a yes. fucking idiot. Go to my YouTube. Subscribe right now. April 29th premiere. Watch it for the premiere. That's going to be special. It's going to be exciting. The big special coming out. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. Subscribe and, uh, you know, follow me on Instagram and Twitter and, and, and mostly YouTube. For God's sakes, join the yes. Patreon. Where are you going to be? Oh, my God. Good stuff. Good plugs. A lot of stuff. Uh, cooking. Irons on the queef. Uh, I'm in the uh, Indianapolis at the Helium, Carolina Theater in Durham, Stand Up Live in Phoenix, Calusa Casino Resort in California, IA. I think I'm in Baltimore, Magoobies, Addison Improv in Dallas, love that club, uh, Stand Up in Huntsville, Alabama, I hear that's a humdinger, uh, doing some shows with Burt Kreischer, I think we're going back to Red Rocks, Irvine Improv in, in outside of L.A., and a Houston Improv back to Tejas, Broadway, Comedy Off Broadway in Lexington, LOL in San Antonio, West Palm Beach, Florida, Richmond Funny Bone, a lot of good stuff, Denver, uh, Cleveland, and D.C. theaters, Charlottesville as well, Tiki Torch, gonna be a hot show, get on the Patreon, live apps out there, Birch, we miss you, Shelbo, Show Praise me. Allah. Check out the specials, YouTubes, Netflix, and Chuck, any final things? No. All right. Well, we miss you, Shelby. Thank you. Uh, the good old days. Queef it up. Georgia Saint got it. Oh. oh did you a... hit stop? No. Oh, my God. You pressed something. That fart better be in there. <laughs> Shelby never hit stop. All right. We're out. <laughs>